Hey guys, today we've got a really really short video about something I might might should have shared before that because it is quite useful it saved me a lot of time so whenever you're testing out your games on a device uh, you have to build it you have to push it on a device and then you actually try to debug as much as you can with the information you have now um, it's something that exists for a while it's called unity remote you can actually play your game while they're running in the editor and get your feedback in your console so and it's gonna be straight to the point so let's just get right into it right here I have a game um, I've been working on lately it's called guide you're going to be seeing a tutorial of this whole game really soon on the channel. Just stay tuned, it's the next one to come. So right here, Glide is a game that uses the accelerometer to actually move around. So as you can tell, if I just play this really quickly, there is no way for me to control the plane, but I have to move it up. So I'm playing with the axis right now, nothing works. The only way to move this is to actually use the accelerometer. Now I can't really test this in the engine, in the editor, the reason is because the computer I'm working on right now does not have an accelerometer, no computer has one, so what to do at this point? And this is where the Unity remote kicks in. If you're able to build to your device, if your actual game right here is able to build on your device, so if I do a build and run right now, it's gonna go right in here. If that works, then you can actually use the Unity remote. Now let me quickly show you how to set it up. It is only for Android, it doesn't work for iOS unfortunately, but if you are using Android, head over to the link you're going to be seeing in the description. It is called, well, it's a link to Unity Remote 5, which is the application that you're going to install on your phone. So you just head over to that link, make sure you're signed into your Google account, the same one that is um, signed in on your phone, and then you can hit install. You can also access this page via the Google Play application on your phone, so just search for Unity Remote 5. Now be really careful and pick out the Unity Remote 5 if you're on version 5 of Unity and Unity Remote 4 if you're on the fort. And if we're uh, further away in the future and it's now Unity 6, then make sure you pick out Unity Remote 6. Alright, so once you have this installed, all you have to do is head over to the application on your phone. So let me just quickly boot it up and it looks something like this. So it only looks like that, and it gives you some instruction right here that I am going to read. It says, make sure this is connected to your computer via the USB cable like this. And then you need to head over to your project, click on edit, project settings, and editor. There it is. And over here at the very top, you're gonna be choosing any Android device. Now when you start your game, it might or it might not actually show up. In this case, it did show up on my game as you can tell. This is my view, it's really hard to see, but this is the game playing and if I head back to my desktop, it's the same exact game. It's gonna be laggy a little bit because it has to, uh, it has to push a game to two different devices, but in the end, it is going to work. So let's try and actually play our game now that we have the Axero Meter in. And as you can tell, I'm able to move. The controller I'm using right now to move around is only my phone and my controls are a little bit too stiff right now, but as you can tell, now I can move, now I can actually test the game using my accelerometer on my phone. So this is something that saved me a lot of time because before that, I had to build to my phone every single time. Now, if that doesn't work for you on the first try, make sure you close Unity and then start it over again, but make sure your application is running first. It is really important that your phone is running the application before you open Unity in case it didn't work the first time. So I had to do this um, one or two times at the very beginning, but now it works pretty much at any moment. And I can just hit play, jump right into my game, and I have the display as well on my phone. So I have two screens basically projecting the same exact thing. And guys, that is all I had to say. It is something that, like I said, I should have been covering before, but I just discovered it right now because I needed it so much. I was so tired of building to my phone all the time, trying out my controls, does that feel good? Yes, no. Now I can actually do it through the editor and it saves me a lot of time. So hopefully it saves a lot of time to you guys. And like I said, short video, straight to the point, but we got this covered. So thank you so much for watching. You can head over to this video right here if you wanna know how to build to a phone. That is uh, something you should know by now. So please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, all the kind of stuff that actually keeps me doing what I'm doing right now. So guys, thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you very, very soon.